Hey, what's up guys? This is Gary coming back to you here from the Ramsey Custom Shop and this is going to be part one of a new build I'm working on and it's probably going to be three or four videos and you can see we've got this Dayton 12 inch shear that I bought uh, quite a few years ago, I think about three years ago and I used it in some original or originally used it in some videos back when I was working out of the garage um, and you know here's one, that, a video that I made that I actually never made it on YouTube um, that I still have some footage of. But anyway, I'm just showing you that I've had this thing for quite a while. And finally, you know, down here at the new shop, I've never even done anything with it. It's just been sitting over in a corner, uh, collecting dust, dirt, oil, you know, overspray, you name it. Um, Eco Mouse Design and I have been, you know, kind of kicking around the idea of turning this into a poor man's iron worker. And the thought is, is that we would use a um, some plasma cut pieces along with uh, a trailer jack from Harbor Freight to do the linear actuation of it. Uh, those are really cheap. And, you know, the thought is that this could be turned into a DIY kit uh, or DIY plans for someone. But so the trailer jack, along with one of those Harbor Freight uh, pipe threaders to turn the trailer jack and a foot pedal that, you know, you could basically turn it into an iron worker top operation. So Eco Mouse has been working on it. You see some shots there of his initial mock-up. Um, he kind of built some models and mock-ups out of plastic and then modeled them over in uh, Illustrator. And then I've since cut a few of the parts out. And then I've also modeled up some different parts uh, for a cart and some other things that are going to be coming up on the next video that you'll see. But um, so first thing to do here, just kind of get this thing taken apart, get a look at it. Um, and it's really dirty and nasty and, um, you know, this thing has the original, uh, that Cosmoline or whatever you call it, that, that things ship from. And, um, I used it quite a few times, you know, not, not an extended amount, but I did use it. Uh, it does a really nice job on eighth inch flat bar. I think you can cut up to three sixteenths flat bar with it. Um, and maybe like up to quarter inch aluminum flat bar, uh, again, depending on the width of it. And of course it'll do sheet metal and it will do round and square stock as well. But I don't remember the exact specs on that, but I'll get those. And you know, as we get later on in the build here. So, um, one of the things that's a good opportunity is for any of you guys, if you have any thoughts or ideas as you see me working on this be sure to leave a comment and let me know what your thoughts are i'm going to put a cool paint job on this whole thing when it's done so i'm just getting rid of all the logos and tr just trying to get it cleaned up and have you know a, something clean to work with while i'm doing the fabrication on it so um be sure to check out the next video i'm going to be working on a self-leveling cart that this thing's going to go on and here's a quick look at that so that'll be coming up on the next video and uh again let me know if you have any thoughts and i will see you guys on the next one. Thanks guys. See ya.